Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. In February, at the Desert Wood Turning Roundup, I chatted with Wayne Wolf from Prescott, Arizona. He showed me some pictures of some sewing supplies. One was a seam ripper. He used a ordinary seam ripper from the sewing store and made it into a nice wood turned object. For me, today I'll make myself one. This is a seam ripper in a handle. It, re it reverses into the handle itself for storage so it's nice and safe. I have a bunch of exotic wood uh, pen blanks. I'll use one of these for the handle. Let's see how it goes. I mounted the pen plank in a set of long nose jaws on my squirrel chuck. Started by measuring the diameter of the plastic seam ripper handle. This one needs about a quarter inch hole about one inch deep. I also drilled a 3 16 hole another one half inch deeper for a little bit more for the point when the ripper is closed. After testing the hole with the ripper, I went back and drilled a slightly larger diameter hole. Then bring up the tailstock very gently and turn away. At this diameter, rounding goes quite easy. I used a large bowl gouge. Then I alternated between a spindle gouge and a skew. The skew gave a better finish. I wanted a very simple design. This is a tool for use, not something to illustrate my skill at turning beads and coves. I wanted a small diameter with just a little additional diameter near the working end. I wanted it long enough for several fingers to fit and a slight knob on the opposite end to provide some resistance to fingers sliding off. Nothing very complicated about this project. I started sanding at 180 grit and finished with 320 grit. This wood is quite open grained, therefore higher grits would not yield any better finish. And I sanded with, and actually finished with, the ripper with my mineral oil and beeswax mix. And there it is, a quick and easy but useful project. My sister-in-law is an avid quilter and will be visiting this weekend. I'll check with her whether it's long enough and whether the shape is comfortable. Meanwhile, I'm looking for quilting and sewing projects that I can do on a lathe. Please note your suggestions below this video. If you're viewing this on YouTube, please like this video and go to my website, aswoodturns.com, to register for email updates. Until the next video, this is Alan Stratton from aswoodturns.com.